This is Mark Wells, and this is the Brazil Report for For My People. Many of us are familiar with the story of Malcolm X and the Nation of Islam. As a street hustler, he was known as Malcolm Little and Detroit Red. But after being sentenced to prison, Malcolm Little was exposed to the teachings of Elijah Muhammad and the religion of Islam. The rest is history. The life and fiery speeches of Malcolm X would inspire an entire people to raise their heads and have pride in their heritage and history. Published in 1965, the autobiography of Malcolm X remains an inspirational classic that continues to influence the lives of thousands, if not millions, of African Americans, particularly those who have lived the fast lifestyle that Malcolm once lived. Immortalized in the classic film directed by Spike Lee, the story of Malcolm X has inspired millions of African descendants throughout the world. Over the past several years, I've met hundreds of Afro-Brazilians who have told me that it was the words of Malcolm X that helped them to adapt a black identity. This is important because in Brazil, as in many other Latin American countries, people who Americans would define as black are taught to define themselves as anything but black, as black is considered to be the lowest category in the social hierarchy. In Brazil today, there are countless people that possess the same skin color as basketball legend Michael Jordan, but are classified as brown in their birth certificates. But because of a rising black civil rights movement, in recent years there has been a rise in the numbers of brown Brazilians who identify themselves as black. There has also been an increase in the number of Afro-Brazilians who have become followers of the religion of Islam in the southeastern state of Sao Paulo. Although Brazil continues to be the largest Catholic country in the world, in the past eight years, the number of mosques erected in the country has quadrupled. One of the converts was the former Kalo Soares Coheda, who took on the name Onade Alamin OADQ. Onade would go on to convert his friend Paulo, who would become Malik, and Malik in turn converted his friend Ritson, who became Sharif. They are all poor and black. And in turning to the Holy Quran, the, the three friends think they have found the answer to the rapid extermination of Afro-Brazilian youth at the hands of the police, death squads, and the drug wars that rule Brazil's poor neighborhoods. The three have begun to take Islam into the poor communities and prisons, where there are masses of Afro-Brazilian youth who lack opportunity and access to health care or education. And they're using the religion of Muhammad as a means to a political transformation. The Islam preached by Onari Al-Amin and his partners brings to Islam a hip-hop attitude, a political connection to Brazil's black movement, and lessons from the American Civil Rights Movement. It is also through hip-hop that many black Brazilian militants learn about their history. The 19th century revolts led by black Muslims in Brazil's Northeast aren't something that most Afro-Brazilians will learn in history textbooks, but through the lyricism of Brazil's politically conscious rappers. Selah Mama is one of the pioneers of Afro-Brazilian Islam, and although hip-hop gives him a headache, he understands that it is a tool that the younger generation uses in order to spread Islam to those who might otherwise never hear its message. Islam is also bringing a new form of militancy to people who were raised as evangelicals and taught to turn the other cheek. As recent convert Richardson Mariano da Paixão explained, quote, I was not in this passive spirit. Through Malcolm X, I discovered that in Islam, we have the right to defend ourselves. God repudiates violence and doesn't allow attacks, but he gives us the right to defense, unquote. Richardson became Dugeto Sharif Al-Shabazz in 2005. Dugeto is his MC rapper name, meaning from the ghetto, and Shabazz was taken from El Haj Malik El Shabazz, Malcolm X. Onadi Alamin OADQ is also a rapper. The OADQ acronym means African origin, descendant of the Quilombo. Quilombos being the runaway maroon societies established by fugitive slaves. In learning his history, Alamin discovered that the Catholic Church supported slavery and divulged the idea that black people didn't have souls and that everything that was bad was black. He began to understand that this idea placed in the minds of millions of badly treated adolescents has had horrific conse consequences for black resilience. But then, he discovered Islam. Today, Onadi Alamin is a leader of Brazil's black movement and works with the center of the divulgation of Islam in Latin America. He is also one of the founders of the hip-hop cultural group known as the Posse Haza. 
The Posse Haza is a collective of rappers and activists that use their lyricism and community outreach to educate youth and improve self-esteem amongst Afro-Brazilians. In 2007, the Posse Haza was instrumental in bringing Fred Hampton Jr., son of the slain 60s Black Panther, to Brazil to participate in the Month of Black Consciousness festivities. Hampton brought his Prisoners of Conscious Committee to Brazil to form alliances with Sao Paulo's black community that is experiencing many of the same social conditions as their brothers and sisters in the United States. Many Brazilians were shocked by the horrific images of people affected by the devastation of Hurricane Katrina disaster, and Hampton presented a scathing indictment of the Bush administration's near complete failure to anticipate or act on one of the greatest natural disasters in American history. The coalition formed between Fred Hampton Jr. and the Posse Hossa is but one example of an emerging collaboration between African descended communities that far that far more that have far more in common than they may realize. Although followers of Islam in Brazil are minuscule in comparison to followers of Christianity, and international media may continue to portray Islam in a certain stereotypical manner, this new rise in Islam represents yet another way that the Afro-Brazilian population continues to redefine itself in its own way. This is Mark Wells, and this has been the Brazil Report for For My People. <laughs> Poem to Sharon McPhail. Dear Canada extraordinaire, you lost your run for mayor. So would you care to donate your hair and dare to go bare like Hanson Clark? Hi, springtime is home improvement time, and I'm here from all home improvement to solve your repair needs. For an estimate, call area code 313-896-3603. Again, area code 313-896-3603.